Hi guys, it's Chessa with Checker. Welcome to our first virtual fall quilt market live episode. Also, happy first day of fall. It's raining a lot here. We have a flood warning and a, a wind warning, but that didn't stop me from wearing my flip flops, even though I should have wore rain boots. So obviously, as we all know now, quilt market in Houston has been postponed, but that isn't going to stop us from keeping your business in the know. We will be increasing these Facebook Lives to weekly for the whole month of October, and as well as every Friday in October, starting October 1st, we are going to do Fabric Friday Lives with Jeff Smithers and possibly Byron Masson on some days. So that's something new that you guys are going to want to make sure you tune into. So make sure to check your emails periodically because we might add more lives or other episodes as we release new product. Many of our vendors are submitting their product videos to us and those can be found on our YouTube channel. So subscribe and be sure to click the notifications bell so that you will be notified whenever Checker posts a new video. I'm pretty sure you already follow us on Facebook because hello you're watching, but if not, you just happen to come across the video, make sure you like, the, hit the like button, and then you can also turn on notifications so that when we do go live, you receive a little notification reminder. We are also very active on Instagram as well as Pinterest. More great places for great inspiration and to see new products. As always, it's super fun to see where you guys are watching from. Most of you already know the drill. Put your chef name and location in the comments for a chance at a shout out. If you have a question or would like to take a second look at something, go ahead and pop them in the comments and I will show you it again later, answer your question, or one of the buyers standing by will be able to answer your question. Um, there is a link in the description of this video that is only to the items I am showing today. So if you feel like you missed something or you wanna obviously order it, make sure you click on that link in the description. We do have a giveaway this week, so make sure you stay tuned to the end for that. Let's see who's watching. Hello, Michelle of Threading Needles in Virginia. Thanks for tuning in today. Hello, Barb Morrison in Ontario, Canada. Hello, Janet in Nebraska. Thanks for watching today. Hello, Auntie M's, also in Ontario, Canada. Hello, Carla of Quilting Crazy in Clearwater, Florida. We're so glad you guys could join us for our first fall virtual quilt market episode. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in with books. We have some new ones from Annie's. Bring some good luck along with a little bit of whimsy to your home or that of a loved one's with these fun projects in the Quilted Gnomes for Your Home book. Find playful designs for all rooms of the house you know, that includes your kitchen, your sewing room. There's great ones for holidays, or you could make them just as a special gift for someone. You know, gnomes are so trendy. Tis the season for quilting. It has a variety of different quilt patterns in all different kinds of sizes and layouts. These will be the star of the show at your next holiday party. If you're looking for gnome patterns, they are also included in this book as well as the previous one I just showed you. Moving on, we have springtime sewing. This is also from Annie's. There are over 20 cute and practical patterns that are perfect for organizing and brightening up your home. You got this really cute mixer cover. And a fun thing in these is that they have these little icons. So it will let you know if you 
are going to need to, if it's going to take a weekend, if it's going to take um, just your afternoon, if it's going to take a whole week. So that's, it's right there. It's a nice big icon, so it's super easy to glance at something and know how much time you need to set off for it. With projects, like I said, there's the sewing room, kitchen, gift giving. There's full size templates, as you probably saw as I was flipping, for Apple Pay. So that's another great one from Annie's. And then what are you going to do with all those scraps you've left over? You're going to get scrappy. This Let's Get Scrappy from Annie's has nine stash busting quilt designs. It is a collection of Annie's popular designers quilts. It's going to inspire you to dive into your scrap bins and start sewing. I know everybody's always trying to figure out what to do with their scraps. They're not small enough you want to throw away. So this is a great way to use them up. There are traditional to modern designs in here, so it's gonna cover everybody's bases. And Hazelwood, she is added again, the Tannenbaum Christmas quilt. So this is from CNT, and Hazelwood is CNT now. So if you don't know, this is Claire Stewart. She's gonna be continuing her adventure in her little hometown that's in uh, Wisconsin. She's gonna be facing her former lover. Looks like there's gonna be some drama. And at the same time, the Quilters of the Door have a new member, member Anna Marie Meyer, who has recently moved there from Germany. Next, I have one from Landauer. This is actually a partnership of Landauer and the So Kind of Wonderful team. It's wonderful curved quilt blocks. There's an assortment of 30 blocks, each with curved and straight piecing. It's featured um, a total of 18 quilts in this project. There are, th are this book, there are three sampler quilts and 15 unique combinations. The beauty of these blocks is that there are actually just endless possibilities because you could just create your own original design if you felt the need to. Oh, um, someone's asking what the name of the book for the, the gnomes were. The first one we showed, I believe, yeah, there's the king. Okay, the first one, it's Quilted Gnomes for Your Home. This is from Annie's. Oh, this one has nine whimsical designs. I'll hold it a little bit closer so you can see the cover. There, again, remember the link in the description of this video. It's gonna have all the items that I've showed today, so that will be very helpful. Um, I do have more books, but we're going to take a break, even though I love books. Um, we're going to move on to new Ackfeld manufacturing displays. There are two new 12-inch designs that have clips. This first one is perfect for hanging something like a placemat. So we have this Reflections placemat from Cut Loose Press and Susan Nelson. This was made using her original Creative Grids folded corner clipper. You could also make it with the extra large version that was just recently reviewed or released. Here's another one. The two clips. It's a perfect size. This is, you know, even a funky shaped placemat and you can hold it easily. This one is called the Hexi placemat, actually. It is from Cutloose Press and Gudrun Erla of GE Designs. And for that, you're just going to need to grab your Creative Grid 60 degree triangle and the pattern helps you whip up six of these with the fabric requirements. Next, we're going to talk about the one, this, oops, not this one. I'm trying to go in size order. So this one is um, a 10 inch hanger. It has two clips for hanging projects. Um, I mean, it's super great for if you love Halloween year round, or I mean, it's great for fall because pumpkins are fall. It's great for Halloween as well. 
We also have a couple of the six inch ones. They're the split bottom hangers. So this one is Believe. And then we have Hello Fall. This was actually a bronzes kind of color. And then we have Seasons Greetings. So this one has one clip and one hanger. So you can see I just have like a little coaster on this one. Um, and then you could like maybe hook your scarf and then you can clip your gloves so you don't lose them. And then it's just super festive. It'll just cheer up your house and it's a cute way to display things. Next up is the six inch pot steak with clips. So this is great for holding a garden flag. As you see, you can embroider whatever you like on it. You can change them out for each season. And you just, you don't even, you don't have to stick it in your flower pot. I mean, you can stick it in just your flower bed or if you have fake grass. I mean, you can literally put it anywhere. You guys have a lot of creativity. I'm gonna move on to some bigger ones. We have this large 22 inch. It's God bless our veterans. I know it's probably a little hard to see because I wore black today. So this one has five hooks on them. So again, bunch of room, you can hang all sorts of things. There's plenty of options. And lastly, we have a 23 inch scroll. Also, these are all from Actfeld Manufacturing. So it has triple the space to triple the amount of items. Right, let me, while I clear these out, I actually have a trivia question for all of you guys. Which of our top pattern designers is a twin and was a former fourth grade teacher? Can you type it in the comments real quick? Yes, if you guessed Kim Christofferson from Kimberbell Designs, you are correct. We are going to talk about her newest clear blue tiles essential set. So it comes in this super fun box and it just opens right up. It also has this nifty little carrying handle here. So I mean, this is great to keep all your stuff organized and in one place. So this helps you put your projects in the hoop with the professional results that you would love. It's easy to stitch through a quilt sandwich on top of fabric, batting, and your back fabric. You can choose all over quilting for a continuous flow or customize each block with um, a different design because they all have the same scale it makes it easy to use a variety of tiles on one project. And if you love traditional quilting and would love to do it on your embroidery machine, the Kimberbell Clear Blue Tiles are the solution you've been waiting for. And let's open this part up. It's like a present. So you have, or it comes with 26 finished block and border tiles. There are two water soluble pens. You got two of the fun slap bands. We all love those. And then you have this user guide. And then of course you have the USB that has 372 embroidery files with, um, that includes Kimberbell's exclusive seasonal table runner project. So you can start out with just this essential set, but then you can go ahead and add the expansion set for larger hoops. Let's see who else is watching today. Joanne Hoffman Designs, thanks for tuning in today. Hello Smith Street Designs, we have something from you to show in a little bit. It's actually a big something to show from you. Hello Pat Murphy, hello Anne from Norway, and we also have May from Norway. Thanks for tuning in guys, I know we all have some time difference and I appreciate you guys still tuning in. Um, 
so we were just talking about those clear blue, t blue tiles from Kimberbell and finishing your quilt. So once you get it bound, what do you what are you going to do next? You are going to add gift tags and labels. So thankfully, Katie Cupcake has you covered with tons of options. So let's look at those. Personally, my favorite is this one. It says, this took forever to make, so you better love it. And then there's some cute, you got Nana made it, you got handmade, love that. Mama made it, Grandma made it. So those are all cute. And then you got some of your cards, like so blessed. Sometimes I stay up late and make stuff. I think it happens more than sometimes. Little bundle of sweetness. This one's a cute little quilt shop. This one, I like this one, just ta-da. You got a generic happy birthday. Those are always great to have in your drawer. You never know when somebody's birthday is gonna come up and surprise you. Same thing with thank you cards. Those are always great to have. You got handmade by your favorite quiltaholic. I know everybody's been called a quiltaholic at some point in their life. We got this cute all stitched up. It has a pin cushion on the top. They do come with envelopes as well. Again, these are all from Katie Cupcake. Clear these off. And since we're talking about what we do when we finish a pattern, why don't we talk about some new patterns that we should get started on? We're going to talk about some from Bound to Be Quilting. First up is the standout. This has large flowers set on a trellis background that forms obviously the design of this quilt. And then there's a peach flower in the middle that stands out. Obviously, you guys are super creative. You can use whatever colors you desire. This one finishes at a 68 inch square. Flowering stars will highlight the various florals in this Camellia collection. This is an easy one block quilt. So that's super awesome. Guys, are we? Okay, we're back. I don't know, I don't know what happened there. Technology. That's all, that's all I have to say, technology. It's always something. Um, I'm gonna go back to the last one from Bound to Be Quilting I was talking about. This one is Buckle My Shoe. And I was saying that if you aren't singing that nursery rhyme yet, you will be while you make this 45 by 54 inch pattern. You know how it goes. One, two, buckle my shoe, three, four, shut the door, five, six, pick up the sticks, seven, eight, don't be late. All right, moving on to my animal lovers, cat and dog lovers specifically. We have two patterns from Sweet Tea Girls. You can make a fun puppy dog tails quilt that is for your dog lovers. There's just standard piecing techniques and fusible applique. The more fabrics, the more fun. This ends up, you can either do a 60 or a 72 inch square. For Smitten the Kitten, animal lovers, cat lovers, me. This is a collection, um, this is a great pattern to use for a collection of fabrics because you can do so many different things and still have the cohesive look. Um, you can also make it as a scrappy version. Again, this one like the other one, you can do in 60 and 72 inch squares but I know you guys are smart and you can modify it as desired. You got a bigger border, add a skinnier border. It's all up to you. Let's talk about this Lucky Penny Wallet from Sally Tomato. This is a simple, slim wallet, as you can see, nice and slim. It's a wonderful pattern for anyone who is sewing with cork, or faux leather for the first time. This wallet is a fan favorite to place under the Christmas tree. So go ahead and start your sewing early this year by making a lucky penny wallet for all of your family friends for the holidays. 
it would be a great gift all by its own or you got you know you got your pockets you can hide some money in here put some gift cards and really surprise the loved one who is receiving this gift Now, I bet you are wondering what these cute mini patterns behind me are. They are from Jennifer Jangles and they are a part of her um, Matt and Runner series. First up, we're gonna talk about this cute bicycle. Here's the matching table runner. The table runner itself is 29 and three quarters by 11 inches and then the matching mat is eight and a half by ten so I mean you could use it as a mini wall hanging you can use it as placemats you can use it as the mini quilt options we love options another one is the whimsy flower set again you have the runner this is 11 and 3 quarters by 35 inches long and then this mini quilt is a little bit larger than the previous one at 11 and 3 quarters by 14 inches. And I just find that this is such a fun way to cohesively decorate your house. Now, say you have scraps left over from these projects. No worries, because Jennifer Jangles has a pattern for that too. We have these super cute flappy scrappy baskets. The instructions um, are for a large. You got your medium over here. You can embellish, add buttons. Then you got a small and an extra small. And I think these would be super cute and fun to put like in a kid's room. Um, it'd be a great way to help teach them to put their toys away. You can just make a bunch of these and designate what toys go in where. And it doesn't stop there. They also, Jennifer Jingles also has these felt letter ornaments with the holidays right around the corner. This is great. The patterns include um, instructions for all 26 letters of the alphabet. Each letter is four to five inches in height. These would be great for, I'm holding the V upside down. The, um, this would be great for kid room decorations. If it get knocked off the wall, they're not gonna break. Um, Chrissy made a good suggestion that this would be super cute for a um, school's Christmas tree because of the letters. Um, you could use it to spell out the children's names, a loved one's name. All right, now moving forward. Uh, if you guys remember, on Facebook a couple weeks ago, we asked um, what your favorite scissor vendor was. And the response was overwhelming, and I love when you guys chime in, I love when you guys comment on things, I like the interaction. But a lot of you guys said Karen K. Buckley. So let's check out her newest edition. These are um, a new set of multi-purpose scissors. She has other ones, but now this is a four and a half inch size. So these are great for cutting templates, freezer paper, templar, fabric, fabric with fusible stabilizers. The blades are stainless steel. The handles have the same soft ergonomic grip as the other perfect scissors, and they cut sharp to the point and they come with this plastic protective cover. And another thing, they are great for both left and right-handed cutting. As a side note, Karen K. Buckley's four inch perfect scissors are constantly a top seller. So you're gonna wanna make sure you have those on hand. And I'm also gonna suggest you test the Karen's new multi-purpose four and a half inch scissors. Uh, I don't know, maybe on one of our new chalk and notch patterns. Add some fashion patterns. So let's talk about those. We're going to start with the fringe pattern. This is a woven dress, or it could be a blouse. There are two views. You can see them here on the back. View A has this button up front. 
and view B has a pulled over notch front. Um, that one has a cuff. The sleeves and cuffs are interchangeable and there's optional waist ties. Next up is the Ren pattern. This is a button front blouse and it could also be a mini dress. The mini dress has a dropped waist as you can see. There are two statement sleeve options, a short sleeve with a puff cap and an elastic hem and a long sleeve with a cuff. The Marcel is a woven dress in tank top pattern that is fitted through the bust, um, your waist and your hips. There are two dress views as well as a tank top option. You got the longer dress, a little bit shorter of the dress, and then obviously the top. And then we have the page hoodie. This is also from Chalk and Notches. It's a cropped hooded sweatshirt. There are two hem finishes. On the first one, view A has a banded hem, view B has a drawstring, and then um, uh, there are, I don't know what C is. C just doesn't have any of that. It just hangs, it's nice and comfy. Um, and short sleeve. Oh, short sleeve, duh. Thanks, Chrissy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there are also three sleeve styles that are all interchangeable. So yeah, you got a lot of possibilities with that one. Let's switch back to some quilts or quilt patterns, shall I say. We Chess, have Chessa, Tep, Tiffany asked, um, she was just uh, logging on and checking in and she wanted to know if she could still watch the video later. Yes, Tiffany, you can watch the video later. Um, you're saying at a blank table right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, you can watch the video later. That's the great thing about Facebook Live is that once you're done being live, it just turns into a regular video and it's gonna stay on Facebook then. We never delete them. So you can watch it whenever you have the time. That's a great question. Let's talk about some patterns from Lavender Lime. We have first up Charmed for sure. This, you just need one charm pack and then some additional yardage. You know, you have your borders and stuff. And it's super, super quick. It's 62 and a half by 74 and a half inches. Next up is Flowers for Mary. This is a beautiful six black sampler. It, that one is just so quick and easy as well. These are all super quick and easy. Then you have Giggles. This one uses two, two charm packs and you can whip it up really, really quick. This one as well is 64 and a half by 72 and a half. And then you have a dozen fat quarters. This one you just need 12 fat quarters and a little bit of a border fabric and you will make this beautiful quilt. This is also a great one for gifting because you can just take them to the store and have them pick out a set of fat quarters. Cottage Rose, which is Deb Eggers, also has some great fall patterns in honor of fall starting today. Let's touch base on some of those. We have pumpkin cider. This could be a wall hanging or a placemat. Um, the pattern actually is a little bonus, includes a silverware holder. Instructions for that. Then you have the acorn soaker runner. Um, the leaves can be applicated in wool or cotton, it's up to you. Then you have the acorn manor pillow. This was made to complement the Acorn series, but it's also super cute by itself. And then you have Coneflower Stars. Um, this is from Cottage Rose, Deb Eggers. It's a beautiful table runner that can brighten your table settings. Now you might have saw this on our newsletter the other day or our Facebook post. We have these fine line glue tips 
from pen and paper patterns. So instead of using pins, you're going to use glue, which is going to increase the accuracy in your piecing. So you're not going to have any more misaligned seams, chopped off points. You're not going to have to stop to remove your pins. So that means you're not going to have to worry about your fabric shifting. Um, these are specifically made with quilters in mind because there is going to be a precise glue placement because there is this 18 gauge applicator. You can see on the tip there. Um, each glue tip uses an airtight non-clogging wire. So when you're done, you're going to put the lid back on and this wire is going to go in that wire. So you know how when you open a glue, a lot of times you have to poke in it because it's hardened. This will keep that from happening. The glue is sold separately and we do not carry it. But this, you know, this is your Elmer school glue. You can get it anywhere. Next, we are going to look at this two pocket iPad zipper pouch from Sweet Jane's Quilting and Design. It fits the iPad Air or a standard size of iPad. As you see, mine actually has a case on it and still fit in here without a problem. It measures at 11 by 9 inches. And like I said, it's two pocket. You have this nice little front one. You can stick like your ID or your credit card, some cash or some sewing tools and then you have the big pocket which the iPad fits in. The construction for this is really quick because there is no quilting, there's no corners, um, so it's, that also makes it a great pattern to kit or to teach a class on. Um, Chessa, what, do you know what the, um, the item number for the glue tips are? No, but that's... I can tell you, I'm also going to refer you to the um, description of this video. There is a link in it. Oh, Chris is going to pull it up for me. It's PPP30. PPP, three P's? Three P's. <laughs> three P's, 30. So PPP30. That's that fine line glue tips. Um, that's the item number for that. See, I knew those were going to be exciting. Um, I have a question, another one for you guys. Um, is there anything that you would like to see in these lives or other than these lives that we're not currently doing? Is there something you want more of, less of, something we've never done that you would like us to do? We are open to suggestions. So just let us know in the comments. And that brings me to, remember when I said I had more books? Let's check them out, starting with three from the CNT. The Hand Embroidery Dictionary is the complete go-to guide for all things embroidery. Expert embroiderer Christine Brown breaks down over 500 stitches from the basics for beginners to more complex designs for advanced stitchers. You have things from Lazy Daisy, French Knot, Herringbone, Cat, Chevron, and so much more. You can create intricate art like Kristen with inspiration such as psychedelic balloons, mushroom gardens, and flowered embroidery sp spirals. Brown provides expert guidance for all, including actually tips for left-handed embroiderers. Find inspiration in improv and start your journey with bold colors and unique designs. Open it up to a great place where to start. Well, thankfully you have improv expert Cindy Grisdella who is going to share the design and principles and construction strategies for successful quilts. She's going to help you explore three different ways to create improvisation. I can't say the improv is so noly. Told myself I was going to practice that word. So you can use 
one block in different colors and organize um, different orientations. Um, you can combine, combine different blocks. Um, you can do free cutting the entire quilt and designing it on your design wall before sewing. Let's go to some resin jewelry design. This is um, from the experts of Rosen Martel and Nadia Julian. They are going to share 37 different customizable projects to accessorize any outfit with design resin jewelry. You can do necklaces, rings, bracelets, earrings, anything you can think of really. You're going to learn to make these with confidence and then you can even put your own spin on them. Make your own custom jewelry. From Stash is Doodle School. This is for free motion doodle quilting. Transform into a skilled free motion quilting expert with a month long series of daily design prompts. I'm on day nine, you're working on a two pass star border. You can take the challenge with experienced free motion quilters Dara Tomasin and Amy Robertson as they show you their methods. Start sketching feathers, arrows, shells, rainbows, bubbles, spider webs, and so much more. From Fabric Cafe is three yard quilts on the double. You have eight quilt designs written for three sizes. You got the lap, the twin, and a queen king. So these are super easy to kit, as you guys probably already know. One yard cuts make a lap quilt kit. The twin will use two of those lap quilts and the queen, king queen will use four lap kits. You can bet that this is gonna be in our top selling list. Fabric Cafe always does great. These three yard quilts are super clever, super, like she said, they're super easy to quick. They're quick kit, they're great for beginners experience, somebody looking to be able to whip something up quickly. We have three new ones from Paha Sapa Traders. The bucket pattern is made from a five gallon plastic bucket from your local home improvement store. Novelty prints would be great for the outside pockets. There's finishes, um, it's 12 inches high by 15 inches wide. Or some of you, I don't know, like me, I have a bunch of these laying around at home already. You don't even have to go to the store to get some. More gnomes. Gnome on the range. This is a bench pillow or a table runner. The finalized design, that's up to you if you want a pillow or a table runner. These cowboy gnomes are working hard on their dude ranch. They're gathering up hay for their horses and they're tending to their chores. This finishes at 16 by 38 inches and it is raw edge applique. Up next from Paha Sapa is um, bench pillow and table runners. These are actually Joanne Hoffman. She was on here earlier. I did see her name. Hopefully she's still on here so she can see us talking about her beautiful new patterns. This is a beautiful ombre feather. It's placed on an ombre background as well. It will work with any gradient or ombre fabric. You could do a batik, you can use printed, you can use whatever your heart desires. It's also fast and easy to make. It would be a great class to teach. And an awesome bonus in the instructions are included uh, the directions for make it as a scrappy version. We are getting towards the end of the show and getting towards the giveaway. So let's get your questions in. I am going to take a sip of water. Hello, Tony from So Blessed in Georgia. Carolyn of Applique's Quilts and More. Hello, Odrin from Norway. 
Thanks for tuning in. Peggy in Forest, North Carolina. Hello, Susan Marth. Hello, Vanilla House Designs. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. As you might have heard earlier, Smith Street Designs was watching and I told them that I told her that we have her project portfolio to show today. So you are gonna get a collection of six embroidery machine classroom projects for applique tiles, home sweet home signs, you got quilting mug mats, a curiously clever triangle pouch, machine needle keeper, and Christmas pillow. Each one of your projects is going to explore different techniques and materials and this portfolio includes instructions for your students uh, instructor notes, there are PowerPoint presentations, uh, bonus projects, as well as advertising photos for print and screen. And lucky for you guys, Kathy sent simple samples of all the included projects, so you are going to be able to get a great idea of what this project portfolio has to offer. So let's start with project one which is called Tile It. So this is gonna teach you how to do embroidery machine applique with um, an emphasis on using fusible. Once you learn and complete a tile, you're just gonna make three more, and that's how you're gonna make these bonus projects. You can do this little pillow here. This is super cute and springy. If you do it in fall colors, it could be fall Christmas colors, summer colors and then you can make even more tiles and you can make this bench pillow. Just kind of want to curl up and go to bed. Upside down. Oh, I thought they went both ways. Oh, my bad. Sorry, you guys. And then if you're getting the theme here, you can also tile and make this table runner that is behind me. Let's move on to project number two. So project number two is just like it says, home sweet home. You can make it, um, hang it like it's a side or you can use it as a table mat. You can put it in a frame Project two is gonna help you learn quilt as you go, um, as well as the tack and trim method. Project three is Quilty Fun, and you're gonna practice quilting on your embroidery machine by making a coaster, a mug mat, or a candle mat. As you can see, there's a variety of sizes. Make one, make five, make 10. Make great gifts. So that was project three. Project four is a curiously clever triangle pouch. As you see, there are two different size options. With this, you're gonna learn the seam and flip technique and about installing snaps. Project five is machine needle keepers. This one also has two sizes. This one is also gonna work with vinyl. So there's instructions for you can make little smaller holders or you can make some of the bigger slots because you know needles come in all sorts of assortments. And a project six in this project portfolio from Smith Street Designs is Twas the Night Before Christmas. You're gonna make an 18 inch pillow that has the famous Twas the Night Before Christmas poem. And this project is gonna help you learn about easy multi-hooping. So as you can see, there is a lot of great information packed into this project portfolio. Got all sorts of goodies in it. Got, like I said earlier, instructions for the students. There's instructions for the instructors. 
images, all sorts of great information. So, Tiffany Rowland, she says that she's new to Checker and is loving it. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear it. I hope she, I see you every other she Wednesday. Would, she would also like to know what the flower pot um, wall hanging is to your left on the, on the wall. Oh, this one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this was from Jennifer Jangles. It actually has a matching table runner. So, Tiffany, a great thing about these lives is that in the description of this video, either um, on top of your screen or the bottom of your screen, there is a link and that will take you to our website. And that link is specifically to the items I am showing you today, which I'm showing the bicycle with the flower pot. I should be showing the flower pot with the flower pot. So this would be a great for your kitchen. You can make a table runner for a table, put placemats, the, or it could be a mini quilt because it's 11 and 3 quarters by 14 inches. The table runner is larger at 11 and 3 quarters by 35 inches. Again, this is Jennifer Jangles. Tiffany, I'm so glad you were enjoying this and I hope to see you often. We are excited to have you. Can you buy the, um, the project portfolios with the patterns in it? The project portfolio is going to include all everything you need. So it's going to have the patterns inside of it. So it has your supplies, your step-by-step -step instructions. Flip down. Oh, okay. Yep, sorry. It's got your instructions. So it it comes with everything for all all the projects. This this is all you're going to need to buy. It even has this cute little sign for you to use. So you got your tabs. So yes, it does have your instructions for the patterns. And it also has a nice CD. If you have more questions on this, feel free to um, reach out to your sales rep. If you don't have a sales rep, uh, give our customer service team a call and they will hook you up with the rep for your area and they will be happy to do a virtual call with you or come to your shop, whatever you prefer. Um, uh, Carla asks, can you buy a specific pattern? Like for example, like just the needle keeper. Um, not that I am aware of at this time. Um, if she is still watching, maybe she can tune in and let you know if she's going to end up selling these as individual patterns. Hello to Susan from Quilted Colors in Stewart, Virginia. Hello Tiff's Touch Studio from Coleman, Texas. Michelle from Little Turtle Cottage. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Let's move on to the giveaway. It is from Sweet Jane's Quilting and Design. It has her sewn sample of the iPad zipper pouch and a few of the printed patterns. It does not include my iPad, even though my iPad matches really well. So thank you to Sweet Jane's Quilting and Design. Um, we're gonna throw in some other surprise goodies as well in the spirit of market. So you guys, if you don't know the rules already, you do need to be a Checker customer and you must be a member of our private Facebook group because that is where we're gonna post this. Um, the instructions will be posted in the post as well, but just a refresher, you will need to put your shop's name and location in the comments as well as like the post. The winner will be picked at random and you're gonna have until this coming Friday, September 24th, at 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time to enter to win, and we will announce the lucky winner that following Monday. Let's see if we have any more questions. Not so far. Okay. Oh, I see Karen's already excited about the giveaway. She said it's a great giveaway. So um, just a refresher again that we are going to be 
uh, increasing our Facebook lives. You guys will get to see me every Wednesday. I know that's just brightening up your mood today. <laughs> as well as on um, Fridays, this is for the month of October, every Friday is going to be a Fabric Friday live. Um, just check your emails periodically. This is new times for all of us. We might be changing things, adding things. Um, so just stay tuned on social. And I can see Christy looking at me. Do we have another question? <laughs> so Tiffany's just asking that if Checker is a family-owned business. Checker is a family-owned business. Um, three generations. Three generations. Yeah, we're on third. Brad's the third generation. Brad's the third generation. So Brad's grandpa started it. Uh, we've been the world's leading fabric and quilting distributor since 1948. Yep. Since 1948, yeah. So it's super awesome. Love working for a family-run company. Um, all the departments, we all get along. We all feel like we're family and we're all just so close. So that's super exciting. That was a great question, Tiffany. A lot of people probably don't know that, but yes, we are family-owned. Um, so like I was saying, check your emails periodically. Um, if we did miss your question on this live, I apologize. We do watch this, the comments on this video, so if you're watching later or you think of a question later, you can comment and we will get back to you. Uh, again, there is a link in the description of this video that's for all the items that was specifically showed today. All these items are available on checkerdist.com. We thank you for watching, and we're going to see you back here next, actually in two weeks, on October 6th. Friday. Do you have another question? Friday? Are we doing, or that's next Friday? Next Friday will be Jeff's fabric video. Yeah, so you do have another two weeks before you see me, and then we're going every, every Wednesday in October. All right, guys. It was great. Everybody stay safe out there, and we will see you soon.